Hey there YouTube, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I'm going to do a Wessel video. This is going to be the first half of November. So I'm trying to get caught up. So this will be the first of two videos that I do for November and then I'll be all caught up and I'll do um, December next after that. Um, so this first item here that I'm showing you now is an old Casio keyboard. And this was like a tiny little keyboard. It was not very big. I think it was only about maybe 14 inches long. It was just a little guy. Um, had the original box. It was really cool. I found this at the Goodwill for $2. And um, it sold for $25. Alright, this is a pair of Etnia Barcelona prescription eyeglasses. These we found at a thrift store for $2 um, and they sold for $50 free shipping. And they were very unique. They were kind of a brown and orange with yellow on the inside. So very unique, fun pair of eyeglasses there. You can see the name. Not a very good picture, but there's the, the website there. You can see that. And those were made in Spain, so that's different. You'll see very many eyeglasses made in Spain. All right, this is just an empty eyeglass case. I bought this for a dollar. It's Vera Wang is the name brand. You can kind of see it there. Vera Wang. And that one sold for $16.95 free shipping. All right, this is another little footstool um, that I found at the, let's see, we found this at the Goodwill for $4. And I actually recovered this one because the original cover had some stains on it. Excuse me. So we just took a piece of fabric, um, you know, unscrewed the top um, and just stapled on the new fabric right over top of the old. Um, it only took us maybe 15-20 minutes to do it and it looked really nice. As you can see, it was a really piece, really pretty piece of fabric. The footstool had some really cool detail. You can see there a little bit of it. And then the legs as well were carved. So it was really neat. Um, it did have the original tag on the bottom. Empire Wood Carving Company. So it was definitely a vintage piece. Um, and it was really neat. And that sold for $40 plus shipping. Alright, this is a old photo of Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. And the cool thing about this photo was that be, we found this in um, a lot of books that we bought and it was in a frame and behind the, the photo in the frame was this um, piece of paper here that had all the names of all the kids and their ages. Let's see a better picture here. Uh, whoops. Alright, here's a better picture here. And it's signed by Tommy Donahue and dated and has his address and everything on there. But um, there's another photo, not this photo here, but there's another photo with a baby in it. And Lou Gehrig is holding a baby, and it's from this same day, and there's actually a video of this day as well. And um, so, basically, to make a long story short, the person who wrote this was claiming that he was the baby in the photo. And he listed all the names of everybody else in the photo. And then there was also this um, copy of the newspaper article. It was stamped by the newspaper there, 1988. And the same stamp was on the back of the photograph. So that was kind of a cool thing to find. Um, we found it in a lot of books. Like I said, we bought the entire bookshelf of books at an estate sale, and there had to have been like 50 or 60 books in the bookshelf. Plus, we got the bookshelf, and I think we only paid about $15 for the whole thing. Um, so it was it was a neat find. Um, it sold for $25 plus shipping. 
So here is a copy of that old video that's on the internet now. And there's the baby, you saw him there for a second, that Lou Gehrig was holding. And there's a really cool story behind all this, which I read a lot about, but I won't get into all that. If you were interested, you could look it up. So there's the baby, he's handing him to Lou Gehrig, and then there's another photograph of Lou Gehrig holding the baby. And so anyways, I don't know if it's real or not, but this person is claiming that he is that baby right there <laughs> that Lou Gehrig was holding, so pretty cool. Okay, this next pair of eyeglasses is a pair of Seiko eyeglasses. Um, they were like a gold tone with a tortoise shell inlay, which were, they were really nice. Um, these I purchased at a thrift store for $3. And there you can see the Seiko name right there. Um, with Seiko eyeglasses, it's almost always engraved into the metal, not printed on it. And those sold for $50 plus shipping. And then this is a pair of Koale, Koale eyeglasses. They were brown and turquoise, very pretty. I also found these at a thrift store for $2. I think they came from the Goodwill, actually. There you can see better. And see if I can find the name to show you. Okay, so there's the name. Koale and Morel, France. And those sold for $50 plus, all right, $50 free shipping. This is a pair of Eddie Bauer sunglasses. These were not prescription, just regular sunglasses. Found these at a thrift store for $2. They were a little worn. And they did say Eddie Bauer there on the side. Those sold for $20. All right, this is a pair of Lulu Guinness prescription eyeglasses. These are a pair that Aaron found for $2 at the thrift store. They had really pretty roses engraved in the side there. And there you can see the name, Lulu Guinness. And those sold for $20. This is something that we found in a storage unit that was full of books. Just had like hundreds of books in it. Um, most of them I sold in lots and I sold them on Craigslist just because there were so many of them and we were getting ready to move and we had to get rid of them. And a lot of times books take a long time to sell and they're so heavy that we just got decided to get rid of them. But this was one that I kept. It was a 1991 edition of the Uniform Building Code. Um, it sold for $30. All right, this was a set of puppy dog salt and pepper shakers. We found these in a storage unit as well. And um, so these were purchased by a one of our YouTube viewers um, that saw what had happened and purchased them on my, from my eBay store and then emailed me and told me not to worry about sending them right away. And so that was really sweet of them. Um, so I just wanted to show that because they were cute little salt and pepper shakers. Nothing fancy, but cute little guys. And they were purchased by one of our viewers. So that was really nice. And thank you. All right, this is a pair of walls, workwear, coveralls. Um, we got these at a thrift store. I think we paid about $10 for them. Originally, I purchased them for Aaron to wear at work, but he never wore, wore them. And so I ended up just listing them anyways. And they were in really nice condition. And they sold for $35 plus shipping. And this is a pair of vintage Luxottica prescription eyeglasses. They're kind of the big eye look. Had a really neat design on the side. There's the name Luxottica and the stars. 
and those sold for $30. And then the last pair I'm going to show you today is this pair of Perry Ellis, also vintage, also big eye, like a 80s, 90s look. Um, this was a plastic frame. There's, there's the name Perry Ellis. And these I got out of an eBay lot that I figured I paid about a dollar per pair. And they sold for $30 free shipping. Okay, so that's all the sales I have to show you in this video. Um, I'll try to get my next half of November done here pretty soon within the next week or so. And then I'll get started on December after that. And hopefully I'll get caught up here pretty soon. But I will be leaving tomorrow to travel to Kansas to pick up our new fifth wheel. So we have sold the camper that we're living in now and have purchased this fifth wheel, which has a better floor plan for us so that we can continue to, um, so I can continue to stay home with the kids and homeschool and do eBay and um, I can afford to do that. And so um, I will be traveling Please keep me in your prayers if you think about it in the next couple days as I go to Kansas and bring back our new fifth wheel. All right, well, thank you again for watching our videos, and God bless you, and take care.